Uh, so I would stay away from the Clorox pool option. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are in Lowe's Home Improvement uh, and we're at the pool section. And today I want to answer a question. Can you use granulated pool shock to clean homes? Uh, I know this is a big question a lot of you young guys have. And today we're going to answer it, kind of go through it. And I'm going to go to the pool section right over here point out some stuff and kind of give you your best. If you're thinking about starting a pressure washing business, but you want to learn more about the equipment, mixing chemicals, how to clean every surface on a residential job site, property protection, and much, much more, check out the how to wash course. It'll be the first link in the comment section and the descriptions. All right. Now for a lot of you guys who are starting your business off, um, you're probably going to be running like this, especially if you don't have a 12 and a half percent sodium hypochlorite supplier near you. Sometimes that can be a pool store. If you have a power washing supply place near you, they'll definitely have uh, 12 and a half percent in stock and they'll just pump it right into your tank so you can batch mix it or blend it. Uh, a lot of you new guys are probably going to be batch mixing. But right now we are here in the pool supply area and I know this can be confusing for some of you guys who are getting started so I wanted to clear up a lot of the mystique around what you can and can't use and uh, maybe give you some clarity on this all right so right here we are looking at this pool essentials can you use this now let's take a look at the active ingredient it says chlorinating liquid that's you know a lot of these things are Sometimes they're algicides, sometimes they're chlorinating liquid. Sometimes the label can be misleading and that's why you should always look at this little ingredients list right here and take a look at it. So this active ingredient is sodium hypochlorite at a 10%. So this will actually work. This is a 10% mix. Uh, a lot of us are gonna use a 12 and a half percent sodium hypochlorite, a little stronger, that's the industrial grade but you can absolutely use this for 5% of everything you're gonna be pressure washing. It's probably gonna be uh, decently expensive because you're buying it by the gallon, they're selling it by the jug or by the case, uh, whereas 12.5%, if they're pumping it in your tank, it may round out to be about the, right, the same price, but you're obviously gonna get less potency at 10%. So Pool Essentials is definitely one you guys can use. I know it's popular with a lot of the new guys because it's available at a big box store. Uh, so let's go on and down the line here and see what else is possible to use here at the supply area in Home Depot. All right, right here we have Clorox Pool and it says it treats algae. Now to the unaided eye, this may be something that we can use for algicide clarifier it has a clarifier in there i'm going to give you the verdict i would stay away from this clorox pool stuff simply because i can't even pronounce their active ingredient in here and at best it's a six percent i don't know if you could see that poly blah 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 dichloride not something I'm super aware of, definitely not better than so sodium hypochlorite for doing what we do. Uh, so I would stay away from the Clorox pool option. Okay, so right here we have uh, Clorox pool and spa. This is obviously in powder form. Uh, let's look at the active ingredient. See if I can pronunciate this. This is gonna be challenging. Sodium, not familiar with it. Uh, it says available chlorine. 37 in here. Um, I would stay away from this as well. And I'm gonna tell you why. This is one that guys will get sneakily bewildered by. Pool care shock, right? And it's in a granulated form, as you can see right here on the bag. Now, the active ingredient here is an age old pressure washers, nemesis disguised as a friend, the calcium hypochlorite 56%. The crazy thing is, is you can actually use calcium hypochlorite uh, and you can mix this stuff up. It's a powder. You're going to be mixing it in your tank. You can mix it up and, and you will be able to, to dissolve a certain amount. The problem with calcium hypochlorite is when it dries on a roof or somewhere, it's going to leave a white residue on whatever it dries on and then you're gonna have the homeowner probably inquire about why there's a white residue on there it's not sodium hypochlorite it's calcium hypochlorite so if at all possible you know if this is the last thing on earth that you have you can use it if you mix it strong 
but you're gonna get that white residue because of the calcium content in this shock, all right? So at the end of the day, um, maybe this has clarified it for you. You can use this. A lot of guys think though with shock that you can actually just keep pouring and pouring and pouring and pouring shock into your tank, trying to mix it up with a paint mixer. I know some of you guys, y'all are trying to mix it all up in your tank but there is a kind of a potency level where the shock just will not dissolve anymore. What you'll have in the bottom of your tank is granules and those granules will get sucked into your pump or your downstreamer and they will clog and destroy your pump and downstream injector. So I would just stay away from this. It's kind of a, comes with a lot of issues. If it was my last thing on earth to use, I would use it for sure. Uh, but I would have to explain to the homeowner that there is gonna be a residue. So at the end of the day here, guys, look, if you don't have a place that's going to supply you liquid 12.5% sodium hypochlorite, I would definitely use pool essentials, 10%. It will get the job done. Uh, I don't even know, let me see the price here. Uh, pool essential, it doesn't even look like they have a price for it, but. I would assume it's probably $5 or something a gallon, which is definitely more than the 12.5% that you're probably gonna pay at a pinch a penny or at a pro power washing supply store. So go ahead, if you can get 12.5%, if you can't, this stuff will work. I hope this video helped you guys out. And uh, if you haven't yet, join the Southeast Soft Wash Chemical Experts Group. Uh, it's only about Southeast Soft Wash Chemicals, so no other chemicals are allowed in there. But we talk about all the chemicals that Southeast Soft Wash provides. It's a free Facebook group. I'll put a link down to that in the description as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video.